Hey guys, here's another quick guide on how to get Model 2 emulator working on the Steam Deck. First thing you want to do is open up Firefox or whichever browser you're using and then just download the Model 2 emulator. The emulator file size is only small, so it'll only take a couple of seconds to get it. Before we go any further, you want to install Proton Tricks from the Software Center. Just run a search for it, and it'll come up. Once everything's done with Proton Tricks, you can go back to your downloads folder and just move the file to wherever you want to put it. I'm running it on my SD card, so I'll just copy it into the directory that I've made for it. Once you've moved it to the location you want, just extract the file. Just choose extract here. Once you've done that, we need to add it as a non-Steam game. So close that and go back into the Steam. For this, just click add in the bottom left corner and then click add non-steam game. Now click browse and locate the emulator.exe in the directory you just moved your file to. Now make sure it's selected and then add selected program. Now we just need to open properties and just select compatibility layer to be experimental. You'll also need to make sure that your gamepad is set to gamepad with trackpad. Um, and make sure you've got a right click button set as well. For this step you need to run the emulator um, and just select a game. You'll see it will just crash. Um, that's perfectly normal. We just need this so Proton Tricks can actually see the emulator.exe file. Now I'm just going to go into the emulator folder again and open emulator.ini and just look for a, for a line that says X input it'll be on zero just change that to a one just to make it so that your controller works a lot easier and then save it and exit Now you're going to want to open application launcher, select utilities, and then just look for Proton Tricks. Then click it. Now just look for your emulator.exe, make sure it's selected, and then open.
Once it opens, select the default one for prefix. Then you want to install a Windows DLL or component in the top left. Here you need six items. You need the four D3D compilers, D3D X9, and then you want the VC Run 2010 and further down the list. And then click OK once you've selected everything. After you've done that, it can sometimes take quite a while. I've had it work a little bit quicker sometimes as well, so you just got to have patience with it. You'll think nothing's happening, and then all of a sudden the box will pop up. Just follow the install instructions once it does. As I'm letting this run in real time, you can skip forward until the boxes pop up. I just wanted to show that it can actually take a while without skipping anything. Now two boxes will pop up, just click them both and make sure you check the mark and then just click install. Once you're back at this screen you can just close out of it. Now we can go back to Steam and run the emulator again. For this step I'm just going to choose Sega Rally just because it's easy to set up. If everything worked correctly, the game should now load. Once the game loads, now you can set the inputs. So at the top, choose game and then configure controls. And then just choose which ones are applicable to you. Just double click the ones you want. Um, and then just choose which button you want on your control pad. These settings will need to be done for each individual game you want to play. You can actually download some packs readily made, but you'll still probably need to change some, you know, depending on whether or not the controls suit your style or not. Once that's all finished, just click close, and then if all being well, you should be able to control your car and all the options you selected.
finished and working we can go to game mode and finalize everything in there now we can go to settings and preferences scroll down to the launch options and type in emulator.exe and then s rally c which is the name of the rom that we've just configured if you've done any other games just type their names in there and then the same thing, it'll work. Another thing to check is your performance settings as well. At first I didn't realise I was running it on sort of 50 frames per second and I was getting horrible stutter in the game. As um, soon as you switch that to 60, the stutter goes away. So it's just another thing to keep an eye out. It's something that's easily overlooked. Thank you. 